So you're about to get your vehicle wrapped, similar to something like this, but you have a few questions. Here are the top five questions that everyone asks. I'm here to answer them and make sure that you don't get confused on which ones apply to you. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Miami of Car Reps, Mr. All In Cars. The number one question that we always get is, what is a car wrap? Isn't it a sticker? You're thinking it's like wallpaper. Me? It's the skin for your car. It's the clothes for your vehicle. You can change the color anytime you want. The best part about it is it doesn't damage your paint and you can change it to almost any color that you feel like. The cool thing is, is that you don't have to change the whole car. You can do partial, you can do full, you can do access, wrap just the hood, chrome delete, anything you can think of. Vinyl wrap is here to change the look of your vehicle. And not only is it for just cool cars like this, but it's also for businesses such as box trucks, companies, mobile businesses, detailing shops, you name it. If you're looking on the highway and you're driving, you're stuck in traffic, whatever, you're gonna see a wrap, whether it's for a vehicle, car or whether it's for a business we even do bikes we even do guns you name it walls windows floors doors you can do it all rapping is that kind of sort of not really now i know your next question is well how long does the vinyl wrap last vinyl wraps can last anywhere from it can last from three years to five years on vehicles such as these but now there's other types of vinyl out there that last much longer really about 10 years but if you let that vinyl sit longer than it actually stays on the warranty, it is harder to take off, much harder. Something that you will not want to do in the long run. Right, Brian? Yeah. F***ing right. And question number three is, can a vinyl wrap be removed? Of course, vinyl wraps are not permanent. You can leave them on there as long as it has on the warranty date, or you can take it off each and every year and change it up as you want. Now, there are permanent vinyls out there, but they are rarely sold because these are mainly for the trailers that you see that are meant to go through different extreme temperatures, such as going all the way up to Wyoming, going all the way down to Arizona. You gotta take into account for those. And now when you have something like these going into those areas, the warranty are varying all the time frames that it has. Now I know you're asking like, hey, but I wanna know how to wash it. What type of soaps do I use? One that I recommend is 3M brand. They actually have that one. You can go on fellers or you can find it on Amazon. The one that I usually use in our shop to detail how all of these vehicles that are wrapped, if it's a matte or a satin finish, we use chemical guys, the meticulous matte version. Now, yes, there's a spray version and there's a soap version. We always recommend the soap version. The spray is just for after you finish washing the car. But now what if it's a gloss finish, metallic finish, chrome finish? Then we still recommend using a chemical guys watermelon spray foam wash that doesn't only just make sure that your vinyl is clean, but it keeps it clean. We don't recommend any types of soaps that have solvents in it or wax or anything like this that may damage not only the wrap, but void out the warranty. Ooh. And I get it. Sometimes you don't have time to wash your car every two weeks or so often. Just make sure it's garage kept. Can I take it to the drive-thru? No, don't take it to a drive-thru. Because if you take a car that is just painted to a drive-thru and you see that it has all of these spider swirl marks on it, that lets you know that the bristles that was used, the wipers that was used to clean your vehicle was dirty. Not only the day of, the day before, the day before that, and 10 days before that, and two months before that, they're not clean thoroughly. But we always recommend ceramic coating the vehicle. Why is that? So that way our clients don't have to worry about washing the car and having it always clean. When it's ceramic coated, then you don't have to worry too much about it. You still need to wash it, but you don't have to do it as thoroughly. You can do a quick rinse down, wipe off, and it's good to go. Ceramic coating does cost a little bit more, but you should always do it because it's better in the long run compared to you spending about 50 to $100 to get your car detailed out every two weeks. And the most infamous question that we always get asked before a car gets wrapped. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? Oh my God. How much does it cost? See that guy? He always knows the answer right there. Now, prices can vary depending on what you're trying to get done. It can be anywhere from a $50 job, it's just doing a quick touch up on a Chrome Delete, to a $250 job, to doing maybe a hood, to a $10,000 job of doing a Chrome 
wrap, and higher. These things can range all the way up to about 20 grand. Now, you're saying, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Ooh, I can't pay for that. That's definitely a whole car. I'm not going to pay a car for a car. Your car may not be ten to twenty thousand dollar wrap job. Your car may be the twenty five hundred dollar wrap job, fifteen hundred dollar wrap job. Yes, there are different things that you can get done to your vehicle that cost differently. Full wraps, partial wraps, hood wraps, chrome deletes, racing stripes, you name it. It's, it's all out there. You can get a roof wrap, you can get a hood roof and trunk wrap spoiler wrap <laughs> the list goes on and on and the prices go with it too now what you need to do is just check around and see which one best fits your budget you have the budget set for you now i always tell my clients you get what you pay for and in this video right here we're going to show you why we mean what we mean take a look at it because this right here is detrimental to your health you need to see this 